What's up, Elite Thenx athletes? It's Chris Heria. Welcome to another video of Official Thenx. Today we're going to be talking about cardio versus high intensity interval training, which is the best way to burn fat. Now cardio and high intensity interval training both do the same thing, they both burn fat. But when it comes to which one does it the best way, well it's definitely gotta be high intensity interval training. Compared to cardio, high intensity interval training burns way more calories and in a shorter amount of time than your basic steady paced cardio exercises. For example, just 10 minutes of HIIT training is way more effective and burns more calories than 30 minutes of running on the treadmill. And not only are you burning more calories, but HIIT training has an after burn effect which can last up to 24 hours that helps you to continue to burn calories even after you finish working out. Forcing maximum effort like when you do in high intensity interval training is going to get you more conditioned to intense training which will help you get through your workouts a lot more consistently and have you progressing a lot more over time. In my personal opinion I just think that cardio is a very low impact exercise and you're doing very minimal effort for a longer period of time. So yeah sure you're going to be burning fat but there's a lot more efficient ways if you're already going to be putting in the time, you might as well be trying to get the maximum out of your time. So overall, HIIT produces the same health benefits and more in a shorter period of time. So if you're trying to find the best way to burn fat, then it's got to be high intensity interval training. And today, I've collected my favorite HIIT exercises, put them all into a workout routine so we can do a HIIT workout that's going to have you burning fat today, guys. We're going to start off with high knee races, and we're going to go for 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off for seven exercises straight. If you guys are ready, let's get started. Bring those knees up, guys. Tighten that core and regulate that breathing. Even though we're going intense, we want that perfect form. Push it, guys, push it. 15 more seconds. All right, next we're gonna go into burpees. So this is the best way to really get the most out of 10 minutes. I'm already fired up in the first 45 seconds. So we're gonna go for this one, burpees. Let's do it. You guys wanna try to be as explosive as possible. If you guys can't bring your knees all the way up, just go like that. But don't stop, guys. Keep it up. Let's make that last one count. Woo! All right. Next, we're going to be moving into Switching mountain climbers. Oh. You guys need to stop, take that breath, catch your breath, but jump right back in. Here we go. All right, don't just move through these exercises, guys. Squeeze all those muscles in your body, squeeze that core. Every time you bring one knee up, squeeze. Make every single rep count. And don't forget to regulate that breathing. The better your breathing is, the easier it's gonna be to go through all of this. Five more seconds, here we go. Push it. All right. Next we have hanging knee raises. So we're gonna switch it up, get on our hands for a bit. Let's go into hanging. Squeeze guys, squeeze those hands, squeeze your feet together. 
Don't swing, lift with the core. some in and out. So you see this constant switching it up, changing the heart rate. This is what really helps that high intensity. It's about going high intensity for intervals of time, really pushing it for a period of time and then slowing that heart rate down, picking it back up and constantly switching it up. And that's the key to hit training. But you definitely gotta push it. That's the main thing. It's not for lazy people, that's for sure. Keep a tight grip on the floor, guys. Keep a tight grip on the core. Always engage to really get the most out of every rep. Next, we're gonna move on. This is kind of tough. Elsa kicks. So, legs up. If you guys need to take a seat for this one, go right ahead. This is a very tough move. If you guys are starting to feel it, you can just hold this position or hold that position, use one leg or the other one. But as long as you keep that time on attention, this is a very effective move. Whoa. All right, last move, guys. You want plank, knees to elbow. Let's get down, make these last ones cool. So you're gonna go knee all the way to the elbow, back down. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze the core the whole time. Activate those shoulders. Everything should be activated. We got this, we're almost there. That's round one. As you can see, I'm definitely breaking a sweat and I definitely put in a lot more work than if I was just running on the treadmill or doing some type of steady based cardio for that same amount of time. So you can see why high intensity interval training is gonna be a lot more effective than cardio. So I got three more rounds to go and that's gonna complete today's high intensity interval training workout. So if you guys like this video, definitely smash that like button. And for workouts just like this, to get in the best shape of your life, sign up right now at Athenix.com, become a member, and get full access to all our workout programs, technique guides, and daily workouts that are gonna have you shredded. Download the Athenix app in the App Store to take our workouts with you everywhere. It's like having us as a personal trainer in your pocket and join the millions of other Athenix athletes around the world changing their lives right now. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time, and comment within the first 30 minutes of any episode for a chance to win some free Athenix gear. And before I go, guys, get ready for the Harrier Pro weight vest coming September 30th. Pick yours up at chrisharrier.com, and I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bad love.